Hi guys, today we're going to install a set of monster ovals on the Royal Star Venture. Got one right here. And I can't believe I picked up a set and I'm in Canada. It's unbelievable. These things are so hard to find. And there was a guy wanting to put another pipe on his bike and was able to sell me these for a really good price. Anyways, I'll be right back with the fabrication of the brackets that mount these pipes to this bike and I'm taking off my originals. So stay tuned. <laughs> We're back and I have one of the pipes off the bike. I'm going to show you guys. I, I just assembled it just to see how it would fit and everything like that. And uh, so these ones are black tip and again, Benson Hines monster ovals and they're awesome. They sound really good from the YouTube videos I've seen and um, I wanted a set and anyways, so you're going to need to make up a set of brackets because the, they don't fit. They're meant for Harleys. So the way the brackets are set up, you're going to need to set up, make up a new set of brackets. I did a little bit of searching on the venture forums and whatnot. And uh, they have, they have uh, mounting brackets for, to fit the Harley Davidson Road King or ultra classic mufflers to the Royal Star. But uh, I didn't find anything for the, for the, uh, monster ovals and i'm sure there is something out there i'm just saying i didn't find it so anyways so i just thought i'd make my own so first thing you got to do is you got to take your monster ovals you got to set them up on the bike and in order to do that you got to take your originals off put your monster ovals on mine were way too snug i could not get them on to fit properly so i brought them into a muffler shop they expanded them like a 16th of an inch, just enough. I took the Y pipe and I brought that in with me as well. So I was able to give the guy the Y pipe and then he just barely touched the machine and we kept checking and checking. So now both my pipes are, a, I'm able to slide them on easily. And the guy with the Harley, he gave me, he gave me the clamps. So I got two clamps for the pipes as well. So pretty pumped about that. Um, so I put the exhaust on the bike and I used a piece of cardboard and this is what I did. I just slid it next to the two notches, the two bolt holes on the muffler and the one on the bike. So you got the one on the bike, you got two on the, on the muffler. And I'm going to go over to the bike and I'm going to show you how I did that. Okay, so we're sitting at the bike. We're gonna uh, show you how that template uh, was made up. Okay, I'm just gonna reverse the camera. Okay, so you install your monster oval on the bike. There's your bolt hole for your old pipes. You're also gonna use it for your new pipe. And there's your two bolt holes on the pipe. So you gotta attach this to this by making a bracket. So I made a bracket. There's the two holes and the other hole. And all I did was put this in there like that, punched it out with just a little hole punch or a pencil. And you can kind of see your way like that. Boom, boom. You put it in like that. And you line the pipe up the best way you can. And I would literally try it a few different types times with the cardboard get some more cardboard make sure each pipe on each side is lined up the same distance to the back tire anyways uh, i have numbers on my cardboard that i can give you guys and uh, they lined up bang on i did lots of measuring before i did any drilling okay so that's my three holes i had to make so now we're going to go convert this to the piece of metal that I have, the two pieces of metal that I have, actually. All right. Bye for now. Okay, guys, we're back at the table. I added a few numbers onto the template just to show you guys uh, how I figured it out and what I did. After I got the holes, 
uh, set up. You really don't have to set up the two, the two, uh, these two holes because you have this, these two uh, bolts that come out of the pipe. Okay. And the pipes all come with these bolts. So you'll see, you just do that. You take it out and then you can trace this right on the cardboard. Then you go over to the bike, go over to the bike and uh, measure your last one and make sure your pipes are straight, they're even. And I would get two cardboards and then go back and forth between pipe to pipe to make sure that your distance is where you want it to be on each side from the tire, okay? Once you do that, you got your holes, boom, you know these two holes are good. Uh, this hole here is the hole that you're gonna adjust the pipes back and forth and then boom. So what I did was I gave you guys these numbers. Okay, so it's five and five eighths from the edge to the edge or center to center and three and three quarter from here to here. Okay, and Yours might be a little bit, this this hole might be this way or this way, but this hole can be adjusted, okay, just by drilling a little bit larger and stuff like that, depending on how deep you get the pipe into your, uh, into your exhaust, okay, into your Y pipe. So what I did was I took this template and I got my, my piece. This is two inch by six and five eighths long, and it is... 3 sixteenths, but you can also use quarter inch if you like. So I took these templates, I took the, yeah, this here, I took it like that, because you're going to use a two inch. So this is going to be angled on the bike. Okay, and I'm going to show you on the pipe. So there's your two holes. You're going to put it like that. See how it's going to be angled? Now, if you have two in there and you drill all your holes, well, when you take it out off the vice grips, you will actually have the opposing one when you flip it over. So when you flip it over onto the other side of the bike, there you go. And you put these down, you bolt them in, and that, that one there is gonna to go to your muffler clamp on your bike. Okay, so let's just put this back here. So there, boom, boom, everything lined up good. Everything lined up well. I'm really happy. I didn't even have to widen the holes. That's how bang on it was. I was really happy with that. Um, I'm no expert, but uh, I am detailed and I will take my time to measure up and make sure my pipes are straight. So then all you gotta do is drill the holes. Those are three eighths holes right there. And here, I believe, is I think it's like five sixteenths. I'm not sure. I can't, can't really remember. So, but I think it's five sixteenths. But anyways, it's the size of the bolt uh, for your exhaust. So you have to kind of play around with that. Okay, guys. Um, since we're putting these on, and there's no washer on the back side like the original pipes, and the original pipes have an adjustment. So it can actually go through. I'm just going to show you guys that little adjustment. Okay. And right here, it just, you know, it can move the bowl of the nut up and down. So if you need a little adjustment, that's why you might have to ream yours out a little bit. But since we don't have a nut on the monster ovals or on the metal, you have to buy a nut. Okay. I also had, I also purchased a hitch for my bike and I had to get some longer bolts. Okay. And I got some nylock nuts as well to make sure everything fits with the hitch. So I got the hitch going in here. I got, uh, the, the muffler bracket going in here, you know, and it's got to go through the bracket on the bike, so I had to get longer bolts. These ones are 50 mil in length, 
which comes out to about two inches, actually, for those of you who don't want to convert. The, uh, the number, 50 mil is about two inches. And, and then you need uh, a nylock nut as well. Okay, so two of them and then you're good to go. Okay, guys. So I know I already cut the holes, but you know what? Clap them together on, on a, with vice grips, okay? And then I got this little mini vice, this little, this little mini uh, drill press, okay? And all I did was I put it on, clamped it down, to hold it nice and tight, and then boom, drilled my three holes. That way everything is straight. Everyone is straight. And then, and they're the same. So that way when you put your pipes on and your mufflers on, everything's gotta be the same distance, you know? And there you go. So I got two of them and one, you just flip it. And boom, there you go. You got one for the left side, one for the right side. Okay, now we're gonna go over and check this out and see if they fit. Okay, so we're back at the bike and there's the two holes that we're gonna put on here. And I noticed that these nuts are pretty loose inside the brackets. And to try and get the muffler, the new muffler bracket that I made and these short little bolts on, I have to stick something underneath them, okay, to uh, to get them up against the inside of the bracket so it'll actually catch on the nut. Okay, so just use whatever you got. And I had uh, a little bit of heat shrink that was handy and it came in perfect because I just slid it in with the nuts and boom. And then I put this on, put the muffler clamp on. Whoa, knocked the camera. So anyways, okay, pretty tight space here. All right, and then big bolt. Drop it in, bolt it on, everything fits. I'm so happy. And do the same thing for the other side and you'll be good to go. I'm gonna see if I can get in a little bit closer just so you guys can see that. Okay, all I'm doing is cutting it down and I'm gonna shape it and make it a nice smooth round uh, muffler clamp. And I'm also going to uh, paint it and it'll be beautiful. Okay guys, we're back and uh, I got them done. And I, I think they turned out pretty well. I'm just gonna uh, flip the camera and there they are. And I'm just gonna grab this one since I got this pipe right here already. And we'll just throw it on there like that. And there you go, put the two bolts in and bolt it up to the bike and that is your monster oval. Time for paint, installation, and I'll give you a little sound quality test. <laughs> 